Delivery of Medication via Metered Dose Inhalers by Craig Smallwood. A metered dose inhaler consists of a canister, which contains a propellant, a compressed inert gas, and a medication, an actuator that the canister is inserted into, and when depressed, directs a specific amount of medication through the mouthpiece and sometimes a counter, which retains a record of the number of canister depressions to help gauge when a canister should be changed for your subject. It's important to note that there are several different masks and interfaces when using MDIs. In general, it's good practice with infant and pediatric subjects to use an antistatic valved holding chamber or spacer, since they may have difficulty with the coordination and control involved in using MDIs independently. A holding chamber or spacer, as commonly known, is a device that is basically an aerosolized medication reservoir. It allows a collection of medication to be held in a chamber that can then be inhaled and not lost to the room during delivery. We have several different interface options. Depending on the patient's size, we have different masks and different sized chambers. Additionally, we have spacers that are built for endotracheal and or tracheostomy tubes. Also, we have inline MDIs, which can be used during mechanical ventilation. I've selected a pediatric sized chamber with an appropriate mask for this patient. Some components of the chamber itself, the interface, an appropriate size interface is essential to minimize leaks during use and optimize delivery of our medication. The one-way inhalation valve separates the chamber from the patient and ensures that upon inhalation, the patient draws gas through the chamber that contains the medication. The one-way exhalation valve ensures that upon exhalation, gas is diverted through a separate channel out to the room and away from the medication chamber. The exhalation valve helps to prevent dilution of the medication from exhaled gases, the antistatic chamber, and the MDI adapter. The MDI adapter is where the chamber interacts with the MDI and is able to accept medication. One important thing to note when using MDIs is to appropriately and vigorously shake the canister before each actuation. About 30 to 40 seconds of aggressive shaking between actuations will ensure that the highest proportion of the prescribed dose on the canister will be administered to your patient. Place it back into the plastic holder, place it into our chamber, and let's actuate a puff here and give it to our patient. Now it's not essential for the patient to synchronize breathing with the canister actuation since we're using a chamber that helps to ensure the medication is delivered on demand. I'm going to shake for another 30 to 4 seconds after that actuation before we give our second dose. I wait four to five breaths between actuations to make sure that the patient inhales all the medication in the chamber possible.